Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about subdividing a parcel with a slide line in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise, you'll successfully subdivide a parcel with segments that are defined by their angle at the frontage. This exercise continues from subdividing a parcel with a freeform segment. Go ahead and open your parcel-1c drawing in your tutorials folder. And then go ahead and navigate to your Home tab. Go to your Create Design panel. And select the Parcel drop-down. Select the Parcel Creation Tools. Next, within your Parcel Layout Tools toolbar, go ahead and click this Downward Chevron. And we get this little dialog box here with some extra features. Now specify the following parameters. As you specify each parameter, notice that the preview graphic is displayed at the bottom. So let's get started. Let's go for a minimum area of 7,000 square feet. Let's change the minimum frontage to 40. Next, it's asking us to use minimum frontage at offset. We'll go ahead and leave it at yes. But we'll specify a frontage offset of 20. For the minimum width, we'll go with 40 feet. Next, for a minimum lot depth, we'll leave it at 50. For the use maximum depth, we'll leave it at yes. For the maximum depth, we'll go with 200. For the multiple solution preference, change this so that it uses the smallest area. For the automatic mode, we'll leave it at off. And then lastly, for the remainder distribution, we'll place the remainder area in the last parcel. Now note that when the automatic mode is set to off, the remainder distribution setting does not affect the parcel layout. This setting will be used in later exercises. Alright, now that that's finished, go ahead and click the upward chevron, and then select this drop down, and then click slide line create. Now we're in the create parcels layout dialog box. For the parcel style, go ahead and leave it at single family and leave all the other settings at their default. And then click OK. Let's move our toolbar out of the way here. Go ahead and select the parcel label for lot 101. And then our command line is asking us to select the starting point of our frontage. Let's start our frontage right here. And then as I draw my cursor to the right, you'll see this yellow line. Go ahead and select the endpoint of this lot line. Our command line is asking us to specify an angle. We'll go with 90 degrees. You can see we have a little preview graphic of what our parcels are going to look like. Now our command line is asking us if we accept the result. We'll hit enter for yes. And the new parcel is created and labeled. And a preview of the next parcel is displayed. Now for this second lot, we're going to change things up. We're going to change the minimum area in our dialog box to 8,000 square feet. Do we accept the result? Select enter for yes. And as you can see, our parcel was created with a minimum area of 8,000 square feet. And the remainder area is shown within the last parcel. When we're finished, go ahead and exit out of the command. Now go back to your toolbar, select the drop down again, and select the same command. We'll accept the defaults. Now in this instance, change the automatic mode to on and keep the remainder distribution to place all of our area 
within the last parcel. Now click the parcel label 103. Our starting point for our frontage will be at this endpoint and then move our cursor all the way over until we get to about the midpoint of this arc. Specify an angle of 90 degrees and now a preview of our parcel layout is displayed. Go ahead and accept the result and you can see that all of our parcels are 8,000 square feet as we specified in our settings and the remainder parcel contains all of our additional square footage. Press escape to exit out of the command and that's how you go about subdividing a parcel with the slide line in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.